So far we have implemented the mandatory field validation for the name input text element. Now we will implement the validation to check if minimum 4 characters are entered in the name field. This will be an additional validation on top of the mandatory field validation that we have already implemented. We defined mandatory field validation using the HTML attribute required. Similarly, to define minimum length validation, we are going to include min length attribute with value as 4. With this, we have defined the minimum length validation, but we have not yet included specific error message that needs to be displayed when this validation fails. Even though we have not included specific error message, we will save and check how this works. I am saving the file. After the page reload in the text field, I am typing a character. After typing the character, we can see name is required message is shown. Let us try to understand the reason why this message gets displayed. We have defined the min length as 4, but there is only one character typed. Based on the min length attribute value defined, Angular internally makes the valid property as false. In the page, we can see valid property displayed as false. As we have typed something in the input text element, dirty is true and invalid is true, hence the message gets displayed. Now let me clear the character typed, we can still see the error message getting displayed. Let us check the condition to see why the message is getting displayed. Dirty is true as changes are already made in the input field. Invalid is also true because we have defined required attribute and the field is empty so the message is getting displayed. If I type 4 characters then the error message is not shown because invalid becomes false. Let us have a closer look at what was demonstrated just now. The field becomes invalid under two scenarios. One is when the field is empty, the other is when there are less than four characters in the field. The challenge now is to identify which validation is failing so that appropriate validation error message can be shown. In ng model, there is a property named errors which contains specific details about which validation has failed. In the next video, we will look into this errors object. Before moving to the next video, in app.component.html, in the input element, include min length attribute with value as 4 and check the behavior of the field with one character, four characters and as empty field. Once done, move on to the next video.